Howdy folks, if y'all hear a loud noise during this video, my roof and my garage here has a tin roof and there's an acorn tree, oak tree, a couple of them around my garage and they're dropping acorns, okay? So that's not anybody shooting at me. People ask me how I paint jigs. This is powder paint. I don't use a fluid bed. I've got one. I find it just as easy. If I'm going to paint a few, I can do it right in the can. What you might want to do is take you uh, some kind of little stick or a spoon, something, something, uh, spoon or a knife, okay, and fluff it up a little bit if you want to, all right? Then you heat your jig. I do about the count of four, like this. One, two, three, four. I shake it around in my paint like that. Make sure I get a good coating so it looks fine. All right? I go back over just for a second like that. Now, my eye stopped up. Oh, boy. I take this little guitar string like that, punch it out. This is the second string on the guitar. All right? And I punch a hole in it, and it gets most of it out. If it leaves a little bit in it, sometimes it pulls back on it like this. I know y'all seeing that. There you go. Then it makes it easy to punch out. Now, you can put these in a toaster oven and cook them for about 15, 20 minutes, and it'll harden this paint more. I'll tell you that on the can. What I do here now is I hang them on a the rack here. They look cool. Now, let's talk about a smaller jig. Jig head. Like this. Yeah. You can't hold it over there as long. Because if you do, it's going to melt and fall down through the, through the uh, heat gun. Bend there. So I go like, one, two, three. Okay? There you go. That's how easy it is, guys. They're not hard to paint. You can get this in many colors. So for some of y'all guys, I'm going like, I like to have chartreuse. There's one to make coins. I like to have chartreuse. I like to have this color. I like to have that color. I don't have it. You can go online. Let me cut this gun off. You can go online, find you some paint, okay? Lure Parts Online. It's called Lure Parts Online. They have all kinds of stuff for making fishing tackle. It's about seven, eight dollars a jar. Guys, I've painted a bunch already because y'all know I sell jigs. Now that can and still got this much in it. A can will probably last most of y'all a lifetime. Alright? You can get by any color you want. They probably have 30 colors. Uh the only thing I'd be careful of is, I thought the colors supposed to have flake in them, silver flake. But when I heat it, I don't see the silver flake. But anyway, maybe it's just me. Alright, hope y'all like that. Now I'm going to add on to this video how to tie a weed guard and a hair jig. Okay guys, one of the first things I do, if it has this collar on it, I take my nippers and I get right here behind the head. I squeeze it that way. Fingernail clippers will work too. Bam. There you go. Okay. That, that's how I make them uh, colors. And I do that to a lot of my jigs. I leave the collar on some of them. Somebody asked me that just so that you cut them all off? Yeah, most of the time. But I keep a few on my boat that has the collar. Um, just in case, like this one has a little double collar. It's a really nice collar on that. This is a game of God soap. Something like that I do sometimes. But now, off camera, see it's an L bend in this? All right. Off camera, I took a pair of pliers and I had that heat gun behind, excuse me, behind me. Guys, I just came from the Mexican restaurant. Yeah, it's Friday. I ate the Mexican restaurant on Friday uh, lunchtime if I'm in the area. I fished this morning. I didn't get up until 2 o'clock, so I just ate, come back. It's four o'clock now. <laughs> yeah, I won't want no supper, will I? That, that was my dinner, my supper. I took the heat, held this over the heat gun, like this right here, way up high so it wouldn't burn it, then took a knife and pushed it up, all right? Put an L shape in it. Now, I've done that. I'm gonna take it like this is how I'm gonna put it on my bait. I don't need this really long for a guard, but that long, I'm gonna cut it. And going down the shank of the hook, I don't need a whole lot. So I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna trim it back some. And I'll probably trim it back again a little bit. Now, that hook that is cut off right here, we're going to put it in the vise. And I'm going to look, make sure y'all can see me. See what I'm doing here? Okay, let me tighten the vise up some. I bought this vise at uh, Bass Pro Shop. You can turn it in the back to tighten up these jaws, how tight you want it. 
I bought the vise, I got a uh, spool holder and a whippet tool and a couple things was in a kit for like guys that wasn't that much, $40, $45 when I bought it. Now it might be 50 or 60 now, things went crazy. But you, you can get into fly tying. I'm gonna show you how to tie a fly in a minute. Or a jig, so used to call my jig. I got hair and stuff back here, I'm gonna show you that next, all right? But let me, uh, I'm looking now, make sure y'all can see. I made this video yesterday, when I got in to edit it, all y'all can see was like this, was my hands. So I'm gonna try it again today. All right, now I'm gonna bring it a little closer. Let me look again, make sure I got y'all in focus here. Yep, y'all right there we can see, you're right in here. All right, now, first thing you gotta do is we call it putting the bed down. You gotta put this a little bit of line, and I don't put a bunch, and I take my little tag in here and I wrap it around there a couple times like that, and you're tying it in. So when you pull on this, nothing slips. All right? Now, I carried everything out here but my fingernail polish. I'm back. Guys, I ran into my basement and wasn't there. I come back and was sitting here behind me. It's always the last place you look. Now, this has glitter in it. That doesn't matter. I made a bait one time. I just took some string and wrapped it around the body. Put, I put the hair, put tail on, I don't know, maybe fur. I used fur, two guys, I used feathers. And I put it on there, cut fish on it, made a video with it. Now, I'm gonna take this uh, piece of fishing line that I bent and laid here. Okay. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Here it lays. Here it lays one of them. Here it lays. I see it now. I'm going to tell you what, clear fish line laying on. <laughs> I'm laughing myself, guys. That fish line laying here wasn't easy to see. Now, I'm going to hold this on top of the hook. I'm going to cut another little piece of it off. This is the hardest part to me, is holding this here and keeping it on top of the hook. Okay? And doing this with y'all seeing it, it's even going to be harder. I'm going to... Usually I do this from the front, but since y'all stand there watching me, and I'm trying to keep it where y'all can see. All right, see how it spun around? As soon as I let go of it, I'm gonna spin it back up here. It's all right. Don't. I'm gonna. All right. Let me. I'm gonna turn up where I can see it, guys, for a minute. Let me get it started, and I'll put it back where y'all can see it. I'm trying to do this where y'all can see it, and it's not easy. Now. I'm locking it in is what I'm doing, guys, okay? Now, so I'm trying to keep this fish line up here on top. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut the excess off. It's going down by the side of it and sticking out the bottom. That's fine. The main thing is i got to keep it up on top up here, right? All right. Now, I don't get too much on here, but if I get too much on here, uh, you won't get a jig on here. Now, I'm going to take and put a little bit of this fingernail polish on here. This is the glue of champions right here, buddy. I think every fly fly tire or jig tire uses it. And I'm gonna put that right back in the glue. That's what I done, tied it, put it right in the glue. Right in the fingernail polish. Now, this can be, I'm gonna see how long it is. I wanna come back just past the tip a little bit. I'm gonna get some of it out of my way so I ain't got a tie over top of it. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. Like that. Cause now I gotta take this whipping tool. Yeah, I'm gonna put the whooping on it now, guys. That's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna whoop it just like this right here. I'm gonna give me some line. Now, what am I tying with? You put it here like this, you make a V, okay? So I gotta put that piece of, piece of, uh, uh, hold on. Let me do it again, just like, it's, it's not easy, guys. I know some of y'all watching going like, Dennis, what are you doing? Need to pop it off the back of it and you pull that down. Oops. Make sure it comes. Don't don't catch on the eye of the hook. Now so I can still move it and I pull it tight. Like that. Lock it down. Alright. Lock it down. Looks like that. Now, I pulled pretty hard on it, guys. This is not fly time thread. Somebody's always watching going like, man, that's big stuff. It is. I bought this as Walmart. This is industrial thread. And that's what I use it for this right here. Some people use dental floss. Dental floss is excellent. If you don't have a, th a thread like that, I've done it for that for years. 
I just took dinner floss, put, put that on there, wrapped it around dinner floss, put some glue on it, head cement or super glue, whatever. Main thing is, when it dries and sets up, you want that there, okay? So when it hits a limb and you're fishing with it, it'll hit a limb like that and it'll push you underneath it or it'll stop you. You give it a slack and you come up over top of it. Another thing I have found out, if I'm fishing lay downs a lot of times, I'll cut this thing where it's only like three-eighths of an inch tall. I'll cut it down to like right here. And when the fish come up behind it, the fish still can grab the jig, but it, it helps you keep from getting hung up as easy. Uh, it's kind of like a scrounger jig. Some of you ever fish a scrounger jig. And you, this is 50-pound test. You can use whatever turns you on. All right? So there you go. All right, guys. One other thing. Try to make, y'all, make sure y'all can see here where I'm at. I'm going to take one of the jigs that we painted, all right? This is what I use to clean the eyes. So may ask me that too. And they say it doesn't work, but I have no problem with it. See there? You just squeeze it hard and twist it. It's got a little V cutter on it to clean it. I've got one in my jig box. I got a box here that's full of jigs, a 3600. And I've got one in my basement where I tie. Now, I don't want this collar on here to tie this jig. So I'm going to take and cut this collar off. Like I showed you at the beginning. H, sharp hook. This is a gold hook. Uh, I use some of the nasty hooks. Y'all notice it was on some of them. I use them. They're okay. Uh, I'm not crazy about them. Now I'm going to start in here because I'm going to put white on the bottom. I'm not crazy about them, but they're okay. I mean, I, I can live with them. I'd as soon have an eagle claw hook. All right. Now, yeah, that was my phone, guys. That wasn't, my alarm, my motion sensor went off. I don't see anything, it's the wind. Uh, I thought it was an order. It tells me when the order's coming through. That's a sweet sound too, it goes ting. I think I've got two right now. I'm averaging about three to four orders a day. All right, same way here, guys. You ready? Try to get where y'all can see me. Try to keep my hands away. Like I said, I done this the other day, and when I was trying to edit it, I think I done it Thursday, yesterday. That's when I done it. And all I, all I can see was hands. I'm going like, y'all y'all are not interested in watching that. But it's easier for me to tie it like this. If I face it to me and get my hands up here like that, it's easier. So I'm trying to do it. With, so if it, if it looks sloppy, and I know somebody like Sid's going like, he has no idea what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, It's hard to do this, Sid, and let a baby see what you're doing too, buddy. All right. Now, here's here's what I got. This is This is... Flash of boot. I've got a lot of colors. This is some of it, guys. This is some of them I like to use. I love this one right here. Isn't that neat looking? And I use this one a lot. Get a little bit of, yeah. You just pick what you like. And guys, sometimes I don't think it makes as much difference. But I think if you put a little bit in the bait, I think it gives a little bit of flash. All right, now I'm going to take this as a deer tail. You see what's been, this is a bot one. When I was doing this yesterday, I used a, I used a homemade tail. Somebody's going, Dennis, how do you get a homemade tail? Oh, my little buddy shot him. That's <laughs> how I got a whole name. He brought it to me. He said, Dennis, I got you three three deer tails. And I took and cut all the hair off because they get stinky fast. And I didn't want to tan them. I just cut all the hair off and put it in the tub. All right, now, what length do you want it? I do not cut them and use this like that. I do not do that. I like to use this natural end. See how that flows? I like that. Again, I usually turn this sideways. I can't do that. I'm measuring how long I want it. Okay, I'm gonna cut this extra off. I got a trash can here, guys. I cut it on the table yesterday. I was in the house later on that evening and I had deer hair all over my shirt and everywhere. I'm going, I ain't doing that again. That's about what I want. Now, I pinch it from behind. So I'm gonna spin it around like this. So hopefully y'all can see. Okay, I'm pinching it. Now I'm trying to spread it around the head just a little bit. Here I go, a loose loop. I got it loose. Let me get it where I want it. Another loose loop. Another one. And then right there, I'm going to tie it down. Now I'm pulling it tight. Okay, and I'm just going to put a little bit at the head of it right here now. Okay? Because I'm going to add I'm gonna add to this. Okay, so I'm cutting, I'm cutting the hairs off I don't like. Okay, I'm going to take it out here and look at it. See what I got. Huh? Now, guys, I don't put a bunch on mine. I tie what I call finesse jigs. Some of y'all have had some of my jigs. Sometimes I stick them in an order. 
But I'll stick one in there. I've got quite a few at the house. Uh, in, in the in the house, and I got a box full of them. So I thought about adding them to the site because I'm using Sid's jigs. His are big, nice, healthy jigs. But I tie a little sissy jigs. I call them finesse jigs because they're so small. I'm looking for here. This is what I'm looking for. Y'all think I'm lost? Now I got. I buy these color packs, and I have big tails. I have moss, green, blue. But what I want in this pack is I want the moss, and I want this fluorescent yellow right here. That's not short truth, it's supposed to be fluorescent yellow. And I tie jigs, I tie hair jigs for bass fishing too. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this moss. But yeah, I don't tie a real big jig. Alright. And I'm fishing now, I'll say this difference. I know Sid told me he fishes Grenada a lot and the visibility is six to eight inches. I'm fishing with a visibility average is two, two and a half to three and a half foot. Okay? That's a difference too. But I've caught fish on his jigs here last winter. Uh, when the water cools off here, I'll start throwing them again. Again, I'm gonna measure it down, okay? okay I'm gonna cut this off in the trash can here behind me. Okay? And I'm gonna put this on one side, I'm gonna pinch it. This is the hardest part, It's trying to hold to this hair and keep it in place, all right? I got that on one side just a little bit. I'm gonna raise this hook just a little bit like that. Now I'm gonna take the yellow. This is I'm just, I'm telling I'm showing y'all what I do, what works for me on this lake. The moss I can use black. I've done black white. I got a gray. Gray works good too. Sometimes I'll do moss and gray or gray and white and yellow. But I have found if I take just a little bit of this yellow, it's like this, and this hair is real coarse. All right, again, I'm gonna measure it down here, but right, right there. And I like to use this natural end. I think it flows better in the water. I think it gives a lot more action than using a cut end. That's my opinion. All right. I've tried a lot of different stuff. And I can tell y'all the first jigs I ever tied five years ago, I've probably been tying jigs for five, six years. I'm embarrassed. Some of them I threw away. Some of them I cut all the hair off. <laughs> you get better at it. Now, I'm not a fancy jig tire. I'm not a professional jig tire. Most of the guys probably don't do what I'm doing right now. I'm just trimming it up some. Some of them probably go on with it. and They don't get it up that far. I'm not that particular. Now, I'm going to take... Uh, I'm going to add my flash boo now. Okay? <clears throat> I'm going to add this one right here, like I said. Here's what I do. I pull a piece out. You see how long they are? Now, I'm going to double it like that, and I'm going to double it again. All right? Like that. So now when I get done, it'll have two pieces on each side. And I just hook it on the eye right here like this, over the eye tie, like that. Get both pieces of the hook on there. I can do this. It's like tying that two-pound line. It's not easy. All right, now here we go. I'm tying that in. All right. Now this time I'm gonna go ahead. And I'm gonna pull some of that ugly hair down the front, like that. Now, again, before I tie it, I want this glue under my thread. I'm gonna just put this little, just a little bit right there, like that. Ba, ba, ba. All right. I'm gonna whoop this thing again. All right. Can I get in trouble for putting the whooping on the jig? Alright. See, this is an easier tie without that piece of uh, fish line sticking up here. I need to tighten my vise a little bit. Bam. Now, that's one. I'm, I do it twice on these jigs. I do it twice because I like doing this. Wow. <laughs> I look a little better on that than I did off top at uh, Wheeler's head, didn't I? Alright. Now, these back here, I'm going to hold them back about this length. I'm going to cut them off. Remember, they was doubled. They're not doubled anymore. Bam. Now, I'm going to open them up a little bit because they're twisted some. There you go. I still twist it. Come on, baby. All right. Y'all get the idea. There, I got it. I want a couple on each side like that. Bam. Now, it gets wet, guys. It'll pull in some like this. And what, what a hair jig does... It's under the water, it's just like this. 
When you move it, it pulsates a little bit. That's how it gives it a different action. There you go. So you got a little bit of moss there, a little brightness on this side. That's what I call my finesse hair jig. And guys, I catch fish on them. Bam, there you go. Like I said, I thought about adding them to the site, but Sid does such a good job. <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed to put mine on there. But uh, my son and I have talked about it. He said, well, Dad, yours is totally different than what he ties. Yes, they are. Now, I do have some body material. Like, uh, I have one of Sid's laying here. Sid ties a body on them. I, I tie them like that, too, where you use a... Uh, think name of the material now. But anyway, well, guys, since I couldn't remember the name of the body material... material Instead of whooping myself up, I've got I got a whole box of it sitting right here. Yeah, it's called Chanel. So I got a bunch of it. I got blues and purple, you name it, chartreuse in there. Let's go ahead and tie a jig up real fast with it. What do you think of that? And I'm going to use the gray. I think. Let's see. Why? Yes. Yeah, let's, let's use the gray. Let's do something with the gray. Okay. Right now our water's pretty clear. All right, but instead of using bucktail, this is craft fur. Yeah, like a big teddy bear. All right, now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my body started. I'm going to stick with the chartreuse thread because that's what I got laying here. Okay, put my bed on here. All right, can bring it back to the front. All right, Vice, been up here. All right, now, I'm going to grab my craft fur here. Y'all see, I've used most of this. I think I still got one brand new one in there. All right, guys, camera cut off for me. I need. I think I've been complaining about being on voice control for a long time, but you know, I've done nothing about it. I don't know if it's called stupidity or just not taking time to do it. Right now, guys, I'm having a battery problem, so I've got my battery charger, my big battery charger on it. All right. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it off right there. And again, same as deer hair. I don't use that end. I think this natural end gives you a much better flow in the water. So I'm going to take a piece of this. And I'm probably going to have to take two pieces of it. Okay. Oops. All right, gotcha. I need to cut this little scrap piece off. It's getting in my way. There it is. All right, I'm holding the craft fur back straight go back here a little ways now I'm gonna see how much I got I'm gonna a little bit more than that okay what I ought to do is put the other half white y'all want to do that let's do that y'all want to see if I can catch a fish on this I'll tell you what if y'all see this coming up in the video and this white's brand new see that's what it looks like when it's brand new huh looks like somebody uh, shot Bigfoot or something right <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a hunk, big hunk of hair in it. The craft fur doesn't go as far as you think it does. You think it'd go a long ways, a big piece like that, but it doesn't. Uh, I ran into some guys today that that were catching crappie. I ran into them a couple times on the lake, and that's the only thing they fish with is their own jigs. And uh, he opened his coolers. Look here, he had a cooler full of crappie. And they were all nice. And I ran into him at a big dock. I mean, a big dock that I was going to scorn the fish. And they had their boat where I couldn't see it. So, and that's kind of hard to explain. But they were on foot, guys, when I ran into them. Let's put it that way. See that? What do you think of that? All right. Now. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to put a lot in this one. I'm going to stick this white back in the can uh, container, guys. I don't want to get dirty. All right. I'm going to take, let's add, since that's chartreuse, let's add the, uh, that's a splash of boot. Let's add a piece of chartreuse to it, like this right here. To the, to the bucktail jig we didn't we added all right i'm gonna come around the eye like this and grab it okay bam all right i'm gonna go ahead and 
pre-cut this. I'm going to grab the ends of it here. There you go. See, that's shiny. Put some shiny on it. Alright, now. This is the body. We're going to put a gray body on this. I know some of y'all going, no, chartreuse! Chartreuse! This is called Chanel. <laughs> I could not think of that haul ago. So, I thought, well, I'll go back and use it real fast and uh, just cut cut in, cut this into the video so y'all going to see it. <laughs> All right, that's what you're going to do. Now, I'm going I'm to try to stay out y'all's way here. I'm turning around here. I'm going to hold it like this right here out of my way if I can. And I'm, I'm going to tie it. What I'm trying to do is tie it in. Okay? I'm going to bring it to about right there. You run that down to how far you want to bring it. Now I'm going to hang that. Now. Okay? Got to start it. Here's what I want to do. Yeah, that'll help, help lock it in. Get stuck in that glue. Alright. I'm going to do it one more time. There you go. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wrap my thread around it and go like this, around it, like this, around it. See what I'm doing? I'm going to do a double one like that the opposite way. What I'm going is trying to cut that, tie that end off so it can't go nowhere. Okay, that's the gray. I'll save that piece. I can get another two jigs out of that. Okay, now I'm going to put just a little glue right here on the head. Maybe that's why they call it the head cement, what you buy. Y'all watch any jig time, most of the guys use fingernail polish. It does just as good. You'll lose it for you'll lose the jig on a dock or a treetop before it comes apart. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Tell me, tell me that's not true. I lost some jigs this morning. All right. Okay, you make a V with this, pop it off, tie it down. I usually do it twice. I know guys that do it two or three times, four times. Some of them say they do it five. I just I usually do it twice like that. Pull it down tight. See, I put that glue on there. Hopefully it ain't set up yet. Bam. I don't knew that was coming. All right. It's got white and jig, got a little flash of boo in it, a little shine. Yeah, so I left the head plain too. Yeah, it looks like a little, uh, I see a little hair sticking up. If you get a little hair sticking up, it doesn't matter. It ain't gonna hurt it. Guarantees you the crap he's not gonna say, Oh, there's a hair sticking up on his head. I ain't biting that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there you go, guys. So now I've tied two jigs for you today. And I know some of y'all tie jigs, Otto and Sid. And I've heard the, uh, Jeff, uh, Rick, y'all going like, Dennis, you're not good at it. First jigs I've tied in. Woo! A long time, guys. Probably a year, year and a half. So it's like anything else. Like, you know, you stay into it all the time, you get better at it. Well, there you go, guys. It don't cost much to get into this. You don't have to buy all these. These are not that expensive. They're like $4. You really don't need like two colors of those. This one. I love this one. Uh, this is supposed to shine in a, in kind of, uh, I'm hunting for the word for it. I don't have the package. But it's kind of like a neon under the water. You know, see how it's just pretty bright in here. But you, you can uh, get three or four colors of that. The craft fur is good. Bucktail's good. Uh, I would stay with the bucktail and craft fur if you, if you pick two items to make tail material out of. And you can get Chanel, like I said, in anything. Any color. So, let your little heart just pick out what you want. Bass Pro Shop Cabela's. I, got a lot, I bought a lot of mine at Cabela's. Uh, White River, that's the Bass Pro Shop. So check, you can check either one of them out sometimes. They both, some of the Cabela's carry both, don't they? So this is Cabela's. So they get, they have it. That's why I buy most of mine, and I buy it online sometimes. All right, guys, appreciate you. Thought I would share that with you. We uh, painted a jig head. We tied a weedless head, and we tied a, a Chanel body jig. Got it. Got it. And we tied a hair jig. Hey. Some of y'all older guys understand, I know. Some of y'all younger know, guys, it's coming. <laughs> Your memory's coming, guys. Appreciate y'all, guys. Appreciate y'all for watching Fishing Lake Country. I can't say it enough. My channel's growing. 
Uh, last month, I had 48 new subscribers in 28 days. So, yeah, we're averaging like two a day jumping. That's great. Orders have been rolling in. That's great. Hey, one of these days, I can quit painting. I, I hope it's going to be next year, January, February coming up. I'm going to fish with these jigs. Hey, you know what? This, something just hit me. Down the road, won't we tie up about a dozen jigs, six or eight jigs, do a pull to catch with them? Bam, somebody win them. What do y'all think of that? See y'all guys next time, Fishing Lake Country.